Hi, I'm John Farkas, and I'm here to tell you about our four pillars of fitness. No, not him, me. Anyway, these are the four pillars that we've used to help countless individuals look, move, and feel great. Anyway, come on in, let me explain. Now our four pillar system is how we organize everything we do here at Blue Ocean Fitness. It's a way to make sure that we're giving people everything they need in order to create a successful fitness plan. You see, a lot of fitness programs, what they tend to do is focus on one or two of the pillars. And while this is a great start, what happens is this often leads to things being overlooked or neglected, or they're just, they're just kind of falling short of one or two areas, which can then lead to people plateauing, uh, getting hurt. It, it just, it's, it, it's a great start again, but it's just not gonna take you to the promised land. And we wanna make sure that that doesn't happen to you. So, our four pillars. The first pillar, pillar number one here, is our core exercises. And I'm sure you're gonna love my handwriting. Our core exercises right here. Now within that pillar, there are four different buckets that all of our core exercises fall into. There's anti-rotation and rotation. There's dynamic, hip, static shoulder, and don't worry, I'll explain all these. There's dynamic, shoulder, and static hip, and then there's isometric, and dynamic. So, again, I'm sure you, this makes, Perfectly legible. So, anti-rotation, rotation, what this is, those are the exercises where we're either rotating or we're preventing rotation. Fairly self-explanatory. Where this comes in handy is if you're in the garage and you're kind of bending over to the side to pick up a box. Well, where this comes in handy is if you, you're carrying a kid or a grandkid on your hip and you've got to prevent any sort of rotation or lateral movement. So those, that's where the rotation and anti-rotation exercise come into play. The second bucket, the dynamic hip static shoulder. So this is where dynamic hip means the movement is coming from the hips and we're bracing ourselves from the shoulders. So, and the reason that that's important is because the primary function of the core is actually to prevent unwanted movement. So when a lot of people think like, okay, I'm working my core, I'm doing a bunch of crunches and sit-ups, yeah, we're gonna tend to kind of disagree or maybe that's just not where we think that your time should be best spent. So this means that the movement's coming from the hips and you're static through the shoulders, you're bracing yourself. The next category, the dynamic shoulders and static hips, is kind of the opposite is true. So the movement's coming from the shoulders and then everything at the hips, you're kind of stabilizing and you're bracing yourself. And then the fourth category right here is the isometric and dynamic. Yes, that says isometric. So isometric and dynamic. What that means is the isometric would be something like a plank or something where we're just kind of bracing ourselves or staying in place early. The dynamic would be some sort of like crawling exercise or, or complex uh, core exercise where we've got movement coming from all over the place. So that is our core pillar. Our second pillar is our strength. Now our strength exercises fall into four buckets. Four buckets here. Two of them working on the upper body, two of them working on the lower body. And then from here, we have kind of a anterior and posterior side of the equation. So our pulling movements is basically working on the posterior side of the body for the upper body. That would be any sort of like pulling movement like a dumbbell row or a cable row or a pull up or anything like that where you're pulling the weight to you. The pushing movements would be any sort of like push up or overhead press that's targeting more the anterior side of the upper body. Now on the lower body half of the equation, there's the hip and knee movements. The hip movements being basically everything on the posterior side of the body, working like the glutes, hamstrings, again, everything on the posterior side of the lower body. The knee dominant movements being exercises that are more quad dominant. We're thinking like squats and lunges and uh, basically everything on the front of the thighs. So that is our strength exercises. And everything here, we wanna make sure that we're checking all these boxes uh, because it keeps everything balanced and, and uh, 
keeps us from getting anything too lopsided or anything too out of whack that's going to lead to injuries or other issues later down the road because we don't want that. So our third pillar right here is our metabolic stuff. And this basically serves two to three purposes. First and foremost, it's good for your heart health. So uh, heart's kind of important, so we want to keep that puppy nice and healthy. Second thing, it's great from an endorphin standpoint, or you just feel good, maybe not while you're doing it, but after you're doing it. And it increases your energy, and just, again, it helps build up your endurance. And then the last thing it does is it helps to burn calories. So for anyone that's got a fat loss goal, the metabolic stuff's gonna come in handy. It's probably gonna play a part somewhere in that fitness routine. For some people, it's gonna be a little more than others based on the goal, based on what they're looking to accomplish. But for anyone in particular that's gonna looking to lose body fat or gain energy, that, that's just that's gonna be a piece of the puzzle right there. And then the last piece of the puzzle is movement. Now this one can get a little crazy and we're not going to go down this rabbit hole but the main thing to think about here is this would include anything that's going to help you move better and move more pain free so this would be any sort of like stretching related exercises that may be done before during or after your workout and then also any sort of like corrective exercises uh, some of the things that we do here a lot are more like specific to the hips to help strengthen the the glutes so that it just takes a lot of pressure off the knees oftentimes, or maybe they're, they're just small stabilizer muscles that we're trying to strengthen, and that would come from maybe like uh, recommendations from a physical therapist. So again, movement bucket, it's just like kind of all the little stuff. A lot of times we fit that in as filler throughout the workout. So to kind of recap everything, we've got our core pillar, which within there, there's four buckets. We have our strength pillar underneath there, there's four buckets, and then we have our metabolic and our movement categories. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, John, whoa, back up. I feel like I'm drinking out of a fire hydrant. And if that's what you're thinking, then that's okay. I got your back. So here's the deal. Right below this video, there's a link. Or maybe it's above the video. Or maybe it's over here or over here. I don't know. Anyway, there's a link right around this video. I need you to click that link. Because what happens when you click that link you're gonna enter your name, your email, and I'm gonna send you over a plan expanding on all this stuff here. You're gonna get a getting started checklist so that you know exactly what you need to do to get started right away. You're gonna get uh, examples of all the exercises within, this, within these buckets and within these pillars so that you know what you should be doing. You're gonna get some sample done for you programs so that you can get started right away. You only have to think about it. Basically, you could ignore everything I said and just take the thing that I'm gonna send you and get started today. So all you have to do, just click the link, fill out your information, I'll send that right over to you. Absolutely free, no cost to you, no strings attached. So what are you waiting for? Click the link, let's get started. Click the link right here. Or is it here or here? I, here, I don't know. Click the link right now. Hurry, because as soon as this video ends, offer expires and you'll never see me again. Maybe, hopefully you will though. Click the link, click the link. Hurry, click the link, click the link. Yeah.